Administrators need to quickly and confidently deploy new systems according to consistent standards. Lenovo X Clarity Administrator implements configuration patterns to greatly simplify that task. Let's take a closer look. From our dashboard, we can see a summary of our configuration pattern status. And we can see here that I've got 10 servers. Each of my servers actually has a configuration profile associated with it, and I don't have anything currently in progress. But let's go create a new pattern and actually do some deployments. So I'm going to go up to provisioning, and I'm going to select patterns. To have consistency, we need to have standards. So the first step is to create a standard for what we call a pattern. The configuration pattern sets the standard for the hardware configuration of a new system. I'm going to create a new one here. And new patterns can be created in two different ways. I can either create a new pattern from an existing server. So if I want to just copy an existing configuration that I have, I can do that. Or I can create a new pattern from scratch knowing the settings that I want to have ahead of time. I'm going to select that one just to show some examples here of what can be done. So I want to give this pattern a name. Uh, let's do uh, new standard. This will be my new standard pattern. And the first thing that I need to identify is the storage. So perhaps if I'm going diskless, I could disable my local disk. Uh, if I was just going to keep the existing uh, configuration, I could do that. In this case, I want to specify a storage configuration. And I'm going to uh, identify that I want to have a, uh, a RAID 1 mirror uh, across my two drives. Now, if I was interested, I could understand additional settings in here. Notice I've got additional volume settings. I'm not going to get into that detail here. But just to understand that I've got that level of control, uh, I can get into that level of detail with these patterns. I'm going to leave that uh, as the standard default uh, right now. Now, for my I.O. adapters, uh, I want to add in an I.O. adapter here. And I'm going to select my LAN on motherboard for this particular system. And so here's my embedded 10 gig virtual fabric adapter. Notice that I've got all of the different adapters available to choose from. And I want to give it a standard uh, port pattern. And I can have some choices here as well. right? I can have different configurations uh, that I've got predefined. So my experts can get together and decide what the different standards should be. In this case, I'm going to choose a port pattern, which includes both uh, my standard Ethernet as well as fiber channel over Ethernet. And so I'm going to uh, add that one on there. Uh, if I had an additional adapter, like a fiber channel card, I could add that. In this case, because I'm doing fiber channel over Ethernet, I don't need to do that. Uh, but let's expand out and let's just look at the details here of what I've got. So for each of my 10 gig ports, uh, I've got this defined. And I've got uh, four uh, virtual NIC functions, essentially, for each of the ports. And you can see I've got three uh, for the NICs. And I've got one that's dedicated to my storage traffic. Uh, I can turn on advanced settings so you can see a little bit more detailed about what I have as part of this pattern. I've got some bandwidth uh, allocated, so I've got up to 50% uh, really allocated here to my disk traffic. I've got my VLAN set up. Uh, in this case, I'm also using burned-in addresses. If I wanted to use virtual addresses, I could simply select that and switch over to virtual uh, addressing as well. So again, you've got all of these things that you can control uh, through your server pattern. Uh, the next piece to identify is my boot order. I just want to use my standard uh, UEFI boot, so I'm going to keep existing. And then I've got some more detailed settings as well. And so you've got the ability to have standards for each of these. You can see I've got a standard already selected. I'm just going to select that standard. I'll just edit this really quickly so you can see the types of things that are inside each of these. Right? This is system information, so if I want to put a contact person uh, or a system location onto the system, I can do that. Uh, for my management interface, these are the IMM settings. So if I need to configure out things like the management IP address, the DNS network settings, for example, within my management chip, uh, I can select that there. Uh, device and I.O. ports, right? I can get some standards in there. And then one of the ones I think is really interesting is this one down here for extended, extended UEFI settings. Right? This is a set of things that allow me now to specify what am I going to do with this system? So if this is going to be a virtualization system, for example, I'm going to select that one. And I'll just touch briefly on the Edit button so you can see the types of things that are inside here. Uh, and again, I'll just scroll down through the things. Uh, disabling C states, for example, enabling hyper-threading. Uh, a number of different detailed settings that 
you know, if I was going to do this manually for all these systems, I might not really get into that on every single system. But when it's as simple as just selecting a pattern that I've already got predefined and comes with the system, hey, it's great to be able to add a little bit of extra performance onto these systems. So that's all there is to it here. I'm going to save the system uh, pattern here. And we can see now that I have created a new standard right here at the top. Uh, that's ready to go. And uh, so let's go ahead and, and deploy uh, a system with this. I'm going to select that standard. And I'm going to select the deploy button. And in this case, I'm not going to actually deploy a system that I currently have. But I'm going to prepare myself to deploy a system which is coming a little bit later. And so I've selected this to show my empty bays. And if I scroll down here a little bit, you'll see uh, that I have a, uh, a rack that's been set up here. Here's Dave's new chassis. And I've got all those open bays ready to go. So I'm going to select this for bay number one and two because I want this pattern deployed uh, out to this new chassis. And I want to get those two uh, bays uh, set to go. So I'm going to hit the deploy button. And it's going to go ahead and set that up for me. And it's going to prepare those two slots uh, for these systems uh, when I actually get the physical systems in and I'm ready to physically uh, do the deployment. Now it's, it's done the work and I'm going to jump to the profiles page. So what happens is that the pattern actually is used to deploy these two systems and create a unique profile which is now associated with each of those two locations. And the thing I wanted to show here is that, uh, you know, even before the system is in, now let's say, for example, that I decided, oh, you know, I really didn't want to put that, uh, that one system in that position. I want to put it in a different position. I'm going to select that profile, and I'm going to select to deactivate it from that location. And so I'm going to select deactivate, and you'll see now that it's going to come back. And notice now for this uh, profile that it's no longer associated with a chassis and a bay location, right? And it's currently inactive. So I can simply select that. Now, let's say I wanted to move that to a different position. I wanted to put it in bay 3 instead. So I can go back to that same deploy selection here. And uh, once again, I want to show uh, empty bays. And uh, I've got this now. Uh, let's say I wanted to just put it in bay number three. I'm going to select bay number three, and I'm going to activate it there. And now it's going to be uh, simply associated with that with that new location. So that's really one of the powerful things about the profiles. It's not only making it easy ahead of time to decide what my standards are going to be and get my systems either deployed or get my environment prepared, but I can also make changes on the fly. And we'll come back and look at that in some more detail in a future video. But I just wanted to kind of highlight the abilities of what we can do uh, in this case. And, and now that I've set that up and configured that for those bays, I can get my new uh, hardware in. I can simply slide it into bay number two and bay number three. And then the configuration patterns kicks in, and those server profiles are automatically deployed out to those systems, uh, which really just streamlines the whole process. So that's a quick look at configuration patterns. As you can see, Lenovo X Clarity Administrator allows our systems administrators to use these patterns to quickly set a standard and then easily deploy new systems with consistency and speed.